Hello. <laughs> it's live. Is that your live feed voice? Hello. Apparently, I, apparently we have live feed voices <laughs> for everyone who's about to get on here. <laughs> Anyone who's watching the recording, we Steve put on like, live feed voices. Steve just raises his voice just mm. a few decibels and just makes it sound like slightly more Masculine? manly. Mm. That's actually how I am. Live feed voice. Yeah. <laughs> a, but when, when I'm off live feed, I'm going, oh, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah. anyway. So, hey, Jordy. Hey, guys, if you're jumping on and feet from watching and recording, this is just our, it's kind of becoming a regular thing. It's, yeah, hey, it is. Amy. It's cool. So, these are our Sunday night. Woo, awesome. Hey, guys, just say hey if you're jumping on. Um, and, you know, we're going to have an awesome superstar joining tonight. And then we're also going to be sharing some really exciting announcements at the end. So, Feel free to share this if you... Did you tag me? I tagged you. I okay. tagged you. You tagged me. Okay. I like how you prompt me so I don't talk <laughs> over you too there. I'll get um, used to that. <laughs> um, yeah, so feel free to share it and yeah, share the love so yep. everyone is is getting the good vibes. We got, we got some amazing people jumping on already, which is super, super cool. Um, hey, hey, yell out where you're watching from too, guys. Um, yeah, so how's, how's everyone's weeks been? Yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. Oh, she noticed. That's cool. Yeah, well, we, we're asking that. Can we tell them why we're asking? We're going to give you a little insight into our week, too. <sighs> so we really want to know how your week has been, guys. Throw it out there. Um, I think our week's been linked into the weather. It was, I'm yeah. about to do up my jacket. So winter did actually hit Cairns. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, because... You know, it's not as cold as, you know, South Australia and New Zealand and all that, but um, we we had been having amazing weather up here, right? So last week it was blue skies, it was sunny, it was gorgeous, like 28 degrees, perfect. And so on Tuesday, Steve and I were like, right, we want to do like a two-way getaway. And so, two-way? Two-day? Two-day getaway. And so Steve came in my room and he was like... He was like, ah, oh, how about Fitzroy Island? And he was showing me all the photos. And I was like, oh my God, yes, it looks fucking amazing. Um, for those of you who don't know, Fitzroy Island, it's just a 45-minute boat ride from Cairns. And it's just beautiful, like, you know, aquamarine waters with the reef and fish and turtles. And it's just this beautiful little island paradise. So I was like, hell yes. And the weather was good when we were looking at it. The weather was fantastic. We were like, yeah, this is perfect. Bye. And then we got there, <laughs> and then we got there, the universe had other plans. <laughs> Majorly. We, we got there, it was fucking wind, I nearly got blown off the mountain top, and <laughs> Steve, when he went to take a selfie, his phone almost blew out his hand. Mm -hmm. It was raining constantly, like the whole that time That was your we best photo I've ever seen too, where she was like... <laughs> Help me! <laughs> and it was like less than twenty degrees, which is un unheard, unheard of. of up unheard here. of. And we're used to about thirty. So. I I didn't pack any jumpers or anything. I like had gym singlets under t-shirts. I only had one pair of shorts on, but I had two bikinis crazy and jumpsuits, cold. and I was freezing. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. It but was. something really cool came out of it, and we're going to be sharing that. We're um, going to be sharing it very, very soon. After it's like, Dave, Mr. Dave comes on. Mr. Dave. And Mr. Dave's on there. We've got a special guest on here. Um, this was so amazing last week when we had a couple of guests on, and they were super, super cool. Um, and that like really highlighted to us our stuff that we've been working on ourselves and to see them guys come on here way out of their comfort zone, like no planning, and then rock it out the way they did. By the yeah. way, if you've missed that live feed, guys, hit us up. It was epic. Yeah. From what they contributed, and the same tonight we've got Mr. Almost, Dave. Almost one and a half thousand views on that. My that was ad. pretty cool. That's yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So we've got Mr. Dave Leon who's about to jump on here now. Please check out Dave. He's and like he's nervous. He's nervous as. <laughs> I'm just gonna scroll down to find Dave. Yeah, because these like when we ask these people to come on, you know, these people are from who are doing our eight week course, so they're they're fucking awesome yeah. people. And um, your camera's not on there, Dave. We um, oh, not this again. We need you to flick on your. How do you we need do to this be, last time? You need to be on your iPhone. On your iPhone, Dave. Live so we can invite you on live. Yeah. 
So just have a look at it, man. For us to come on, we need a little green camera to come up next to your name. Yeah, but for those of you watching, um, and if you're watching last week as well, we, like, these guys coming on, they don't know what questions we're going to ask them. No. And this is their first time, you know, doing this, coming on a live feed. A live feed. Live. And um, it, it is. It's, it's for a lot of people, this sort of stuff is out of their comfort zone, especially when they have to talk about what they're doing or what's going on. And... Um, yeah. It's a big thing that we're we're super passionate about is allowing allowing people to be able to know it's like safe or comfortable to be able to speak whatever yeah. it is and we just find this a express really cool themselves. yeah express themselves and we found this like especially last week a really cool platform now that we can add people on here and just ask some questions get help them allow them to get out of their comfort zone and now yes. we've got it we've got action here from Dave I see the green sun even I'm shaking for you Dave <laughs> all right guys. Yeah, bring them on, invite to broadcast. This is a super cool... Yeah, how day's going. This is so cool. I've been wanting to try this ever since I saw the green cameras show up. And mm. I was like, oh my God. It's inviting, it's inviting. I think you just have to accept the invite, Dave. Hopefully the internet isn't too dodgy on your side. Mm. Just to give you an insight to connecting. Oh, hey, hey, legends. There he is. <laughs> how you doing? How are you, how you doing? Good. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, yeah, bro, fuck bro, it, let's do it. Some show Dave some, some love, love. give him some love, awesome. give him some support. Look at him, oh, if you love a good, <laughs> if you love a good mustache, give him some love. <laughs> <laughs> I shaved it off, but I loved it too much. I needed to grow it back. Yeah, no, no, it's he's 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 been the identity. It's super cool. <laughs> no, I I love it. So that's all that matters. <laughs> Is that like a 17th porn star? No, we've got you got to stand, you got to stand out. He owns it. Beautiful. <laughs> Here we said we were going to go safe, and you're talking about porn stars. <laughs> oh, anyway, anyway, awesome that you're on. Yeah, awesome to have you on, Dave. I, I'm going to give you pre warning. Oh, thanks for inviting me. All the questions she asks you, I have full control over myself and what I ask you, but um. It's super cool um, that you're on here, man. And um, like, Joey's giving you love. Everyone's you showing you. Thanks, guys. Love. Yeah. As soon as you asked me, I was freaking out, but I knew it was the right thing to do. Why yeah, not? Cool. We spoke about this today, and like we had a great call today. We spoke about. Well, do you want to come on? He's like, um. <laughs> 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 you know what went through my head straight away? I was thinking, oh, an excuse, think of something. But yeah. no, nah, a lot of my. That's been a lot of my thinking for the last few years. So. It's time yeah. to take action, and that's what I've done. Yeah, so this is just another part of my journey. That's what I want to touch on, man. And like I say, I spoke to you today about it, and just your attitude towards what you're doing now and what you've done over the last six months. It's it's super cool to to watch and to witness, and it's all on your own back. It's not like like people telling you to do this, to do that. You're like, well, you get a you get a feeling for something, you get a taste of it, and you're running with it. Um, mm. you no, know what? Well, just go back like six months or seven months. What's what sort of prompted you to start looking at, at things a bit differently or looking at life a bit differently? I think that's probably the best way to go about um, it. And I'm just going to jump in super yeah. quick. And yep. just let everyone know who's just jumping on now. So Dave is in our eight-week course, and then he's also he also does private one-on-one calls with Steve as well. So just throwing that in there so everyone knows what's going on. Yeah, and he's got a cool mustache. <laughs> if I mentioned that already. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of the reasons why I wanted to change my mindset with a lot of things – a lot of things, you know, with my work and all that, uh, set up some bad habits of mine. Like it got to points where I hated going to work. Like, it was a bit of a grind every day and that flowed to negative thoughts, um, which led to heaps of other things. Um, in general, just not being happy with where I am and the direction that I'm going. I had sort of no life purpose. Um, you know, I'm not saying I was upset all the time. I still was having fun, but big part of your life is your working life. Um, and for a, for a long time, I'd settled just for doing what I was doing and not really thinking outside the box, trying new things and believing in what I'm, what I'm capable of doing. Um, and over probably the last three years, I've just, my confidence has slowly slipped away. Um, and I don't know, at the start of this year, I sort of um, committed to making a change. I wasn't sure which way it was going to be, but... Yeah, I met Steve and things sort of grew from there. And, you know, I was I still remember our first conversation where I was a bit scattered in my mind, not really knowing why I'm doing 
or trying to make a change. Uh, yeah. You know, I was a bit nervous doing trying new things. And, you know, we only just met, so, you know, the trust wasn't there between us. But, um, oh, it was the best decision I ever made. And um, in these six months, I've learned so much about myself that I never knew and the yeah. skills that I'm capable of. Like, I would have never done something like this six months ago. I was just too fearful to do it or it just didn't seem right to do it. And now, this year, the things I've learned about myself from just changing habits that I've, had, you know, I've set over the last few years, um, just changing it into a more of a positive, you know, routines and stuff like that. Just making the change, a simple shift in, in what I was doing has just opened a whole new chapter to my life and I have direction now. Um, I'm happy and everything is just amazing at the moment. Nah, and that's cool, man. And I love how you mentioned you, you've noticed what you're capable of and they're changing yourself because we're, we're massive mm. on this too. It's like we're, we're all about working on ourselves or, or, or growing aware what we have to do or like what we have to work on. And you, you are so quick. I'll, I'll be straight up at picking up on things. You're like, well, that's, that's not right. And it's not not us telling you or anything. It's what you're becoming aware of yourself. And for anyone watching, I think that's huge. Self-awareness is, is key in so many areas when it comes to personal growth. The um, awareness and- is huge for me because trying yeah. these things, you know, I've spoke to a few people about it and they're just like at work, they just had, they're like, what are you doing? Like, you know what I mean? Trying to, uh, not on purpose, but influence your mind against it when really you should explore the things that you believe inside and go with your own decision making and own your decisions and go with it. Don't be influenced by people around you. I know they're not trying to, to distract you from things you want to do, but it can have an effect. And I think over the last few years, it has had effect on me, um, you know, and the things I can do. And yeah. yeah, so now I'm fully, you know, going with my own belief and what I feel is right for me inside and uh, trying to block out the influences around me and, it seemed to be worked really well. I've got my confidence um, yeah. and I'm trying new things. I'm exploring. I'm not scared of failure. Um, you know, I'm happy and no. my fight's, my, my future's bright. I can feel it. The warmth into, you know, in my heart when I think of that stuff. So, Yeah. It's super, it's super cool to hear that too. Like what most people don't get about anything or any change we make in life. And you're saying now you're happy. Most people mm-hmm. don't get that. And they don't get to that point because they won't make the change or they won't take the risks or the perceived risks. And you're already finding out now and you're just finding it because you're just making change on your own gut and on your own feeling. Um, and that's where, oh, like I say, so many people go wrong with this. They're like, oh, I've got to work on myself. It's going to take years. And that You can feel happy straight away by just making a change and oh, believing in yourself. Hugely, and, hugely. Little, little things um, can change oh, heaps of stuff in your head. Like the little subtle thing I changed was just not listening to radio on the way to work, um, you know, cutting out all the negative news and just not letting it influence me in, in any way. And just that simple shift has changed a lot of things. And in that time that I'm stuck in traffic for an hour and a half or so, um, you know, instead of listening to all that shit, you know, I'll put some positive, uh, you know, mindset motivational speakers on and just listen to what they say and that, that really inspires you and um, yeah. you, you, you can learn, you get a lot of inspiration out of it and that leads to other things. Um, and then the, the patterns start to change in your life. Yeah. It's cool. I know you were dying to ask questions or speak or something. Get ready, Dave. <laughs> nah, this is uh, just Steve on my show, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is how he rolls, see? He, he gets it. The man show. <laughs> That's a different. <laughs> now go for it no it's um no i was just going to say like just touching on what you said about making really really simple changes because it's like um today i had a call with Tessa, who i think is on here now hmm. and one of the things we we talked about i was like okay because we were chatting for about we got about an hour and i was like all right one of the things i noticed is that you say should right i should do this i should do that i'm like all right one thing you got to do, eliminate shit. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, shit, that's going to be hard. <laughs> yeah. And I, I got her just so she understood. I was like, okay, tell me, tell me I should go do exercise daily. And she's like, 
and I like, okay, how does that feel? What did it do? That, that feel, feels heavy. It feels negative. And then I said, all right, now say, I'm going to exercise daily because it's good for me. And how does the energy of that feel? It feels so much better. And it's like, you're changing one word, like one mm -hmm. fucking word. It's so simple, but it makes all the difference in the energy that it brings to your, yeah. to your every And it's, yeah. Hugely. It's and, um, to change those habits, it wasn't easy. Well, at the start, you know, Steve was setting up things for me and I was, you know, in my mind, I was making excuses not to do them. Um, <laughs> you know, I was thinking, why am I doing this? I've gone a bit easier on the try word lately. Because I've been using it a lot because oh. I, it has, in context, it's okay. But try is like hopefully and should, same thing. <laughs> hopefully means, yeah, whatever. And it's usually... Hopefully Try, hopefully, it's like, yeah. But that's what it is. But like I say, you, you picked up on it and you're, you're aware of your excuses and you're aware when you needed to make change. And yeah. the more you do that, and like I say, the better you feel about you, you, the more confident you feel in yourself making decisions. I think that's key here too, that the more decisions you make, by backing yourself and you keep making more, the more confident you get. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. It's they're like, no, it's a scary decision. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. And then in turn, they miss the next decision could be the one that catapults them forward. But you're just going decision, 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 invest, yeah. decision, yeah. this way, that way, excuses, yeah. excuses, but I'll keep deciding. And you, and you miss all the, the scatter in between. Um, mm. which I, I think it's really, really cool. I have a cool question. For Dave or me? No. <laughs> I, get, I get all the questions after this, by the way, guys. And there's no laughing. And tears. Oh, that is so <laughs> Happy tears. Happy tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, Dave, what do you... So, this is some of what you guys have been talking about. So, you know, a lot of people, they don't do this work on themselves because they're afraid, right? They're afraid of doing something differently or also I think a lot of people are just afraid of like going within and actually dealing with their shit. That's like what a big thing when my clients seem to be. Um, so what do you think is like the cost of staying in your comfort zone? And not breaking through that and going, all right, I'm actually going to step out my comfort zone and, and grow and learn and create the life that I want. Like, what does that cost for people to stay in that little bubble comfort zone of theirs, stay safe? I think it's um, holding them all back from exploring, you know, some of the talents they have within. Like, for me, well, simple as me doing this video, I would never have thought I could do it. And now <laughs> that I'm doing it, I'm feeling more comfortable by the minute. And it could be something that, you know, I'll be really good at. And, you know, Look I think that's it. all. Into the Dave Leon show, which is perfect for us. It means less work, less thinking for us, less it's speaking. The Dave Leon moustache show. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, the branding now. <laughs> yeah. But it's cool. We spoke it's about famous. this. Yeah, we spoke about this today, man. And I'm like, this will be good for you. And just a simple thing of putting yourself out there. You don't have to come on mm. and say special or anything just getting on here doing something a bit different it's just gonna yeah. help you with confidence in so many ways yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's it so Ooh. by the way too i like how she worded that question that's good very yeah. good <laughs> she's she's testing me right. right, i'm gonna scroll through any questions for dave would be amazing hi dave hi dave hi, hi dave. dave oh you're getting heaps of hi dave hi, hey, hi hey, everyone dave. Go, Dave. Go, Dave. <laughs> no, you don't understand how nervous I was. I was sweating bullets after we saw this. Wow. You cop, you, it's turned into the Dave show. Woo! <laughs> 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 we need to rename the live feed. It will be hard, but I oh, I knew I'd feel good after it. It's just before this, I was freaking out. Uh, that's what, yeah, Tessa around should. Yeah, it's really cool. Love this. Love the way you guys are keeping it real. Charlie's on. Charlie's a great real. supporter. You're a legend. So what is the general idea here? Get shit done? Depends uh, what you're in what no. context. There's a lot more than that. <laughs> get, get, mm. get shit done. Cool. Listen. Yeah, just listen to it. And what what do you think the general idea is, dude? Yeah. Comfort. Awesome <laughs> that you're on. Like, questions are appreciated, um, too. No worries. 
comfort zone will slowly kill you once you open your eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Charlie's all over mm. this. Yeah. Mm. No, nah, it's the support there for you, Dave. The, and that's what it is. And that's another thing we've spoken The better about things are on the other side of fear, I've realised. Everything so far I've done that has made me really fearful has turned into something, like, really special. Yeah. It is. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I think that's a good one. Yeah, that's no one, no one wants to die wondering. No. You can keep rolling these out, Dave. These are all these <laughs> books today. Have you, have you read the book... Um, have you read the book Top, what is it, Top 5 Regrets of the Dying or Top 10 Regrets of the Dying? No. And that's, so this woman, she was working in a, you know, the home where the sick pe- old people are before they die and she t- was talking to all of them. She actually wrote a book and like the number one regret with people who were dying was that I didn't live the life I was meant to live or I, I wasn't the person that I was meant to be. That's like the number one, hmm. number one. Mm. that's very interesting (laughs) very interesting cool all right well i think dave you have been absolutely fantastic it's turned out nothing like you pictured it i know that from the reaction when i told you you were going to come on (laughs) (laughs) well i sent you a text before i come on i said i'll shit myself (laughs) i was nice in the text too man (laughs) but nah cheers your time man and it's super cool and everyone appreciated your time too which is awesome so thank you thank you too for uh, inspiring me every day as well through your journeys. Oh, Mate, that Peru trip, that's inspired me. I want to, you know, that's something I really want to do in my lifetime, man. Um, yeah. I've seen the change through you. So yeah, that, true. yeah, good on you, I mate. It, I only do it to be like add value to others. And that's serious. At the end of the day, that's why I do it. So this, this is cool for to have you on and to hear that from you, man. I appreciate it. Oh, awesome. Romance. See, so this, is the, this is Bros. the... Bro. <laughs> Fist it. Right, right, we're going to cut you off yeah? All right. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Okay, bye. We're going to carry on with this. Thank you. Bye. Oh. See you tomorrow night on the training. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> tomorrow night on the training, which is like, well, wow. Took it to another level last week, I've got to say. Um, yeah. But yeah, so thank you, Dave. And look, there was a comment there about us keeping it real. And it's a big reason we, we've like, found that these live feeds and getting the guys on is like really cool it's like yeah. real real people and all that it's sort of stuff scripted. it's not scripted it's just people talking yeah. <laughs> people talking <It's>, yeah <laughs> and and being funny and, and being funny and yeah like i said we want to give as much of an insight into more people than just us showing up here because we've got like crazy random lives like we like sharing that but to see someone like dave come on and tui and who else was on last week Paul. Paul. Paul rocked it, actually, by the way. Naughty me for getting that. But that's that's just to, like, to add value to you guys from different perspectives, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's so very fun. Really, really cool. All right. Uh, announcement time. All right, announcement. Guys, we so said we're going to be announcement. Yes. Before, yeah. <laughs> before you guys jump off, there's a couple of exciting things that we want to share with you. Um, oh, that's See, that comes up live. That are very, very exciting. Do you want to share share the first thing? Which one are we going to do first? I've been so enthralled by Dave that I've just forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> I've just gone blank. <laughs> did, we, did we discuss which was going to wow. be? Can you, can you leave okay, this? Right. This is me yes. leading this in and very, yes. like, handballing it. <laughs> just call me in when I'm right. needed. <laughs> <laughs> so... <clears throat> Well, my live food mm. voice. As you guys may have noticed, um, so Steve and I were, like all of last year, we were building our own personal brands, like our personal coaching brands. Um, but then this year, since our relationship has evolved and, you know, everything has evolved, life has evolved, Yeah, we have started working together and it has just been something that has felt so right. And it's just really been this organic evolution of, of events right so just to give you a quick insight for those of you who don't maybe don't know us that well in here we um basically like a couple months ago we were like fuck our relationship is just so awesome and it's a result of us having done so much work on ourselves individually right in self-development um and so (laughs) one day i just like got in a live feed i was like what makes this 
relationship just awesome, like, Steve. Shoved it in my face. I'm like, shoved it in his face. I'm like, what makes this relationship cool? He had a little freak out. No, he was good. But um, what evolved from that? We did a live, a free live training. And what evolved from that was a live three and a half hour workshop that we did online. Um, and then what came from that was the eight week course that we are now running, which is yeah. just, which is just, just going, amazing, like amazing. It's going so, so well. Yeah. It's just really, it just feels right. You know, when it feels in the flow, it feels good. So, so as so. a result of all of this, we, um, we were going to be building our, like building our own web websites. Um, individually, but now we've actually decided we're doing it together, aren't we? Yeah. Which so is... we are going to be launching a website together. So there's basically going to be three parts on it. So there's going to be there's going to be my stuff. There's going to be Steve's stuff because we work one on one with we have our own clients and everything. And then the third part is going to be everything that we do together, right? Yeah. So our live events, our workshops, our programs. <clears throat> All of that. Thank you for the love. Yeah, awesome. Um, <laughs> is yeah, it's going to be there there as well because it just feels because it feels right. It feels right, and when something feels right, you just go with it, and it's like it's proving. Like I say, the last the last few months have just been. I'm going to use the word phenomenal. Yeah. Because everything is working really, really well, and, yeah. and it's it's not us just saying everything's like flashy. Everything we every decision we made is perfect, and all yeah. that. We just get along so well, no, but the results we're getting and how they feel and how we get to them, I think is really, really cool. It feels in alignment and yeah. it feels in flow. It does. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So the name of our, yeah. And so for this reason, we're going to be calling our website. Uh, intuitive Breakthrough. Is that yeah, how it the is? Theintuitivebreakthrough.com. The yeah, because this is really bringing together like what we do, right? Mm. So we have a kind of unique coaching style. Um, so for me, it's really a lot of healing and energy work kind of interlinked with the, let's say, the vision, the visioning and the action taking like that you see in like most with most kind of coaching, life coaching. Um so it's very, there's a lot of intuition and, and all of that. And then, yeah. see? Well, mine is like, there's a lot of work that I've brought from the retreats and everything. And like I say, interlinking, you know, interlinking it with the, the stuff I've brought back from Peru for my own personal journey. Um, it's probably, mm. yeah, it's, it's, it's so a combination. It's, we do a lot of the same stuff, but we take a different perspective on it. I think that's a good yeah, way of putting it. We have it. our own unique, yeah. our unique style. So both of us embody like the you know the masculine and the feminine the the healing side of releasing what's no longer serving you whilst also you know the masculine energy of moving forward and so yeah that's why we called it the intuitive breakthrough, breakthrough yeah it's not just about your mind and all of that mm -hmm. it's about mind body soul and yeah taking yeah. into your own intuition and your own your higher self and your energy center yeah like i think like on that line it sort of leads us to what we did come up with at the end of our frustrations and yeah. everything in, <laughs> on Fitzroy Island. Like I say, not everything that we do is like, it is in flow, the results of flow, but we have our times of like this, no, this, no, stay away. You're making me feel this way. No, you can't make me feel that way. That's your choice. Sometimes. She drives me insane sometimes. <laughs> we had that time out there while the weather was shit. That was as simple as that. There yeah. was no bathing by the pool and that, but what we, what we came up with was yes, the website, it was always there. It was, it sort of it came organically, but so did this, and it's something that we created, and we created pretty pretty quick after all the frustration we had. But it's from everything that we've learned, like over the last couple of years or the few years that we've been doing personal development coaching. Um, it's something that we wanted to to really bring that complements everything we already have now, like with the eight week harmonious balance um, course. Uh, with the one-on-one -on -one stuff, this just balanced everything out so well. And it's another way where we can add a lot of value in, in a shorter amount of time. I think that's something that we really, really wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and it's going to be, it's going to be a really cool, um, a really cool introduction for people who are like, maybe just starting their journey of self-development for people who are, <clears throat> for people who, 
you know, they know that they are these amazing beings and they've got so much potential and, but they're just not sure how to tap into that and how to express that and how to share that, you know, with the world. And so that's what this is, this program is about. Yeah, so it is. It's a five week program and there's going to be weekly trainings, private Facebook group. And it's really about, you know, getting amazing results in your life, letting go of the past and, you know, really moving forward, creating an, an amazing life, but without the struggle, without like the grind and the hustle and the need for it to be hard, yeah. right? Because we are so not down with that. Our thing is really focusing on, all right, first of all, let's go straight to the root of, of all your problems. Like, where is that stuff coming from, right? Releasing, we release all of that negative energy first and foremost, because once you do that, you create the space and then you're clear to be able to start taking action and looking at what do you want in your life and actually start moving forward. So if you start doing all the act, visioning and actioning before you've cleared space for all of that, that's when it's hard. Yeah. That's when it feels like you're, you're pushing and there's resistance, right? And what we've found is it so doesn't need to be like that. Yeah. The results that we have had recently have been some of the best results we've ever gotten in our, like in our lives across all areas. And it's been from doing like, a quarter of the work that we yeah. were doing last year. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it is. And then you talk about creating space and everything like that. And it's, it's actually a simple concept. If you want to look at it as a concept, it's like, just get rid of the shit that doesn't serve you. And like what we've developed, yeah. especially with these five-week programs, like, let's get straight to it. Like, this is it. Yeah. We'll get in there. Let's create that space quickly so you can take the action step now and then create that life a lot quicker. Um, and yeah. I know what we, we talked about with this five-week program, with the eight-week one, is a lot of release work. And we're aware there's a lot of people out there now that have got their shit sorted together. They just need an understanding of what steps to take to move forward quicker. Um, mm -hmm. So that's something we brought in here. And yeah. um, especially with expressing yourself, it's something that I, I'm going to say we've become very good at um, yeah. and very confident in. So that's that. this is perfect for us to have our, our sort of, platform to teach people to do this as fast as possible yeah and feel comfortable so, doing it yeah yeah so like really helping people to tap into the the truth of who they are and aligning with that and then helping them to from that space be able to express that right speak that and share that yeah. um because so many people are it's like they have all you know this, this voice inside them and this you know all of these amazing ideas um and you know, everyone has genius within them, but they're not completely, they don't realize who they really are and they're not completely in alignment with who they really are. And it's like, they're afraid to show who they really are and they're, they're just kind of not sure how to go about expressing themselves, so. Yeah, like authenticity is key. Like being authentic, people make it harder than what it actually is because they let all this clutter or stuff get in their way and they yeah. are afraid to suppress, they suppress it. They suppress what they truly want to say and they'll put up some sort of facade and it holds them back. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's key to what this, this course is about. Um, and something we're super passionate about. We've got some cool stuff planned for it, which is aimed at getting the result really, really fast. Yeah. And we called it the intuitive um, breakthrough because we're, that's what we're about. We're straight onto it. We can see where people are at. Can you get the comments? You want to get the comments? All right. Dave's yeah. taken over the comments too. Personal growth <laughs> is hugely important. It is. I don't know when these are going through. Ha, ha, ha. If you're just jumping on love, to guys, say hi. Any me. questions, comments, please throw them through. <laughs> Thank you. Did a bro love on there. Dave's just going through replying to all, everyone who is watching. I reckon he's given himself a big high five after that. But that's that's what this is about too. He's had a ch he's had a chance to come on and express himself. Like none of that was really planned. I said to him, Dad, I said, you're going to come on the live feed tonight. We're just going to ask you some questions. And he's just expressed himself and he's felt comfortable doing it. And that's what we're able to do by putting in the things in place that we've learned. Yeah. So, yeah, that's yeah. key. So, that's cool. that. What that's else that. are we doing? What else? Well, we have a <laughs> membership site. Oh, like, yeah. We have a membership site now. We have so much going on because it's, it hasn't been hard, guys. And this is why I'm getting a little confused. I thought I was going to talk about that first. But, no, 
we have a membership site. <laughs> now we have so much, so much to offer from from routines and tools and strategies to, like I say, healing and all that sort of thing that we can add in. It's um, we're gonna have it all in the one place with the website being launched. Yeah. So it'll be like trainings and order by topic that people can access. They have a username, they have a login. Yeah. Um, and the trainings will be updated regularly, and the trainings will be by us. But they're also, and this is something I'm really excited cool about, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time, the trainings are also going to be um, by other experts. So this is going to be like a whole range of top topics. It's basically everything and anything that is going to improve your quality of life. Yeah. So stuff from, you know, nutrition and detoxing to fitness and well-being and mindset and spirituality and healing and guided meditations, right? Because we have an incredible network of friends who are yeah. who are amazing and have so much knowledge in all these different areas. There's, so there's going to be that. Um, and then <laughs> with that, there's going to be trainings. We're also going to be doing um, interviews, right? So this is going to be the kind of format is everyone in the membership in our tribe, they'll get the link and they can actually come on live. It would be like on a Zoom call or something. And they'll be able to comment through. So we'll be doing an interview and they can literally, you know, ask ask these amazing people questions and about anything, get answers. Yeah. It's gonna be really cool. Yeah, because like I say, we have got some amazing people in our network and they're they're similar to us, they're like us, they wanna contribute in some way and and some of you guys out there you might connect with us fully and someone might come on like health and nutrition or something like that. Yeah. And that's, that's the platform we've created here with the membership site. It's, it is pretty exciting. Yeah, it's very cool. And then there's also going to be, so we'll be all in one tribe. We're going to have one Facebook group. That's currently the other thing as well. Um, Wait, there's more. Exactly. So like <laughs> what we're doing is everyone that is working with us, whether it be in our programs, workshops, private clients, we're going to put them all into the one tribe. So obviously people who are in our membership site um, will get access to that. Um, and in that, we'll do regular live Q and A's in the group, which is going to be awesome. So it's yeah. like, we'll come on. It's just like a chat. How's everyone doing? And you can literally ask any questions that you have, you know, about whatever yeah. you want. The the big reason behind that, we could have a membership site and say, there you go, there's a link and everything like that. But we want you guys to apply it. We and, we and really interact. want you guys to apply it, interact, yeah. learn from it because. That's what we're about. We want people to apply the stuff that we teach on or the, the messages we pass on. We want people to share that. But to yeah. improve your lives, to improve other people's lives, it's... Yeah. And the tribe is so, so important because, you know, and I was talking to a client today and she's just been through, like, so much stuff in her life, kind of similar story to mine. And, you know, she's saying it's, it's kind of difficult because I don't have um, much family. You know, she's lost both of her parents. And I was saying to her, you know what, I I have a close relationship with my siblings and whatnot, my family, but, you know, I've really created my soul tribe. And, you know, this is like the group of people who, who get me. And this is, that's the power of this, right? And people are seeing this in our course, being surrounded by people who get you, who get self-development and who get, you know, yeah. having a bigger vision and wanting your life to be extraordinary. That is so powerful, having those people there to support you along the way. It's, it's so, so powerful. It is. It's a, it's a huge part about it. just the energy, the energy of people on a similar sort of mission, their own mission, but encouraging and growing together. It's, it's super powerful. Yeah. All right. Cool. Someone's asked me when my book's coming out. When I finish it, very, very soon. Soon. Very, that'll be on another huge announcement. <laughs> so much cool stuff. Coming There's out. so much yeah. cool stuff. There's and this heaps. is. So there's our there's our course just to summarize. So there's our five week intuitive breakthrough course. Yeah. Our our website, our membership site, and our tribe. <laughs> for for the course, yes, for the course, there are limited spots, guys. Limited spots. So really get in fast. Like our last course build up in what really fast. Like yeah. it was crazy, and it's like if it's suited to you, absolutely. So yeah. We're, and we've already our um, eight week program. We're going to be running back to back, and we've already got people like enrolling in for, for the, the next, next one. one yeah <laughs> it's super cool like i say everything's in flow for us and we want to we want to teach you guys or show you guys how how to get to that space how to get to that place how to get to that space how to get to that place yeah <laughs>
I was just getting too serious. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all. Thank you, everyone, for being on. Thank you, Dave Leon, for Shoot, jumping on, any brother. Any questions or anything? Any questions? Have? Quickly, rock them out. How are you, Belinda? Hey, Belinda. You're doing hey, awesome. Hey. My cousin's on there. How are you, Rach? Say hi. If you um, it's another Matt Kamara. Yeah, you're surrounded by if him. If you <laughs> surrounded by him. Ooh. If you haven't, what noise is that? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I had to drop one noise in the live stream. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's another thing. We've also got a vlog coming out, so you're gonna hear some of Steve's interesting noises. That he makes. Some some of her her weird noises and her made up words and whatever. I'm else. allowed to make up words, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, if you have any questions, just PM either of us. Yeah. And, um, have an amazing rest of Sunday evening. Sunday That's evening. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Saturday <laughs> evening. Sunday morning. Wherever you guys are. Um, yeah, just thank oh, you. Yeah. Thank you for being it on. It is Saturday evening in America, I think, isn't it? Looking forward to your messages, definitely. <laughs> I just wound it down. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's oh, I think that's a cue. It's just too much. This is even blowing my mind, everything that's going on. Oh, right thank you, Emma. You two cuties. Oh. I know. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> bye guys bye bye